Welcome to the Pyrite Island, Ash. And off to the Lost Gods. Okay, let's see. Options first. I believe the controls the way they are. Everything is on other than damage numbers. You know what? We're we're gonna leave everything on for now, and if I see something that bugs me, I'll I'll turn it off. The message. Oh. <clears throat> I'll leave that on for now. And then if I feel like it's bugging me too much, oh yeah, this stuff. This stuff's gonna drive me nuts. Well, let's begin the Lost Gods. Warning, the Lost Gods contain spoilers for a new God story. Oh, I already know about that story. I already know. I become a, I become a god effectively in that DLC. It's fine. You can start a new game. And what was the last lesson? Carol, your your visual customization from your life's file. Yes, I love this. I really love this because I was worried that uh, it would be like the like the uh the visual that no, not the, but like the how to describe it. The character that they use for like their media, but I'm lacking that. I can just okay. My character that my that I made will be uh, the main character. Well, I'm assuming not the main character, but the voice. Uh, let's take what normal. When Typhon attacked us on the Golden Isle, he crushed us. It was only the arrival of a new god that saved us. But why were we alone? Why did we need a new god? Because the gods were, as always, scattered. Zeus and Hades were off in the underworld. And Poseidon, who knows what he was doing? After Typhon, the brothers argued amongst themselves about never being there for one another. Tempers flared, harsh words were spoken. Ultimately, Zeus told the gods who questioned him that they should find their own kingdom to rule if they doubted him. And so, they left. Poseidon raised a shattered island. A failed prototype once built and abandoned by Daedalus from the sea. The gods who followed Poseidon shaped the land and settled there. But catastrophe struck the rest of the world. Earthquakes, fires, floods. Humanity was plunged into chaos while the gods feuded. There's my boy. Get lost, bird brain. I'm here to see Phoenix, not a Phoenix. It's all right, Phosphor. Why don't you go stretch your wings? Hello, God of Unity. Not a lot of unity around here right now. The mortals are suffering, and Zeus is furious. I tried to reach out to Poseidon, and Zeus placed me under lockdown. I've just been sitting around trying to learn how to speak Nymph. 
He's proud, Phoenix. He wants them to come back of their own accord. Doesn't want another god to fix this for him. But how can I be the god of unity if I can't even help unify the Pantheon? I feel so helpless. And... and the mortals need us. Sorry, champion. Champion? Wait, maybe that's it. We can't interfere directly without upsetting Zeus. But maybe we can find a way to help if we get someone to help us. Someone we can give a little divine inspiration. The scrying pool! In these waters, we can see the whole mortal world. Maybe with this, we can find a champion who can convince the missing gods to return. But what mortal could we trust with a mission to unify the gods? Good morning, Athena. Good morning, Ares. No fighting, you two. <laughs> Good morning, new Olympian Phoenix. Sorry that you never got carved. See, the sculptor... Well, there was another earthquake. Like the one my family was in, and... <sighs> But, we go on. There's work to be done. And I know you gods are working hard too. Whatever you are. Saved yourself. That was quick thinking. Huh? Huh? Hello? Is someone there? It's me, Phoenix. Ah, I'm having a fever dream then. Or I've finally gone insane from loneliness. Neat. Are you sure about this, Phoenix? This one seems kind of... weird. Ash, your love of the gods burns brightly. We can see it all the way from Olympus. Even in these dark times, you serve the gods. Why? Because... because we need you. Or I do, anyway. You give me hope. And I think you need us. Maybe not in the same way, but... We do need you, Ash. Now more than ever. Listen, have you ever considered the exciting career path of Champion? How do I start? You stop asking questions and get on the magic boat. It'll do the rest. Let's go! fits how did Athena know my sizes she knows things that's what she does fair enough ah you're here champion welcome to the pyrite island ash Daedalus's lost prototype Poseidon raised it from the ocean floor and it's now the domain of the lost gods
Alright. Let's see. Is that... Okay. It's a friendship. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have a lot of resources. I'll stick with this. Let's see the map. Okay, that's not not bad. Pretty big. I have no sword, so all I have is my jump. Okay, Ash, this is it. You'll need to find the lost gods and help them see that we all need each other. Here I go. I can do this. Probably. For there. First presence. Something for you right up here. Let's just look around a little bit more. So nothing here. Guide your hand, Ash. You'll be giving Ares a run for his money in no time. Alright. Are my controls still the same? Yes, they are. Those weapons are magic, but where did you learn to fight like that? It's, it's like I just know what to do. If this is a fever dream, at least it's a fun so one. Ash. Special about you. Yeah, my controls are still the same like in the base game. <coughs> Excuse me.
Hey, Ash, check out that altar. Ash, if you pray at these altars, they can help you on your adventure. Okay. Hey, maybe I can use the junk the monsters dropped here. I mean, it's not junk. And you're at an altar. Maybe be a tiny bit respectful. Oops. Uh, sorry. I'm just excited. Whew. Okay. This is just like praying at the temple. Don't get weirded out just because the gods are actually talking to you now, Ash. Gods, please watch over me. Neat! Okay, so these help with my skills. Sword, we have parrying and dodging. So I still have my launcher and my mid air stuff. Buffs. What is this? Oh, okay, so it can be used while in mid-air. Okay. Offerings. Also, this is how I save my game. Hmm. I don't like that. Like, at all. Make an offering <clears throat> to advance the time of day. This will reset the spawning of ingredients and enemies in the world. Huh. A face cannot be denied, but with the right resources, we can convince them to look the other way when death seems near. We can offer to restore your health. Increase defense for 30 minutes. Increase damage for roughly 30 minutes. Gifts. Stamina. Bowfire. Uh, I do not like that I have to make an offer to save. I am not a fan of that. At all. So that's on. So it looks like each of these can be like four. Yeah, four at a time. And this is how I upgrade. 500, 500, 500. I'm assuming this is going to be my bow. I feel like I could walk on air. I feel like I could fight on air. Here's something with my launcher. Yeah, it looks like I can only save at an offering. 
I don't know how I feel about that. So I have to take the resources to altars. Ooh, why can't I see? Oh, wait, I can actually turn the camera? Huh. I thought it was fixed. Okay. And I can't double jump just yet. could jump that gap but i'm the olympian of unity aren't i well one unified bridge coming right up uh hold on i'm uh, i'm new at this uh... what the hades was that uh, what happened something wrong i can't phoenix i are you there don't leave me alone again <laughs> And who are you? Oh, Phoenix. What a dummy. Huh? A talking bird? What? I'm not a what. I am a who. I am Athena, goddess of wisdom. Excuse my owl form, but we don't want Zeus to know I'm sticking my beak into this mess. Well... Looks like you're going to need me to help you out, since Phoenix has already screwed up and broken your connection. I can't just go around performing miracles. Why not? Phoenix is a god. Who isn't? Look, to use our powers in the world, we gods need proper offerings made to us first. Otherwise, things get out of balance. Earthquakes, floods, improperly spiced cuisine. So, if I made a proper offering, could I restore my connection to Phoenix? Who can say? Me, I can say. And yes, Phoenix likes olives. And olives from the Moria tree are sacred. Try those. Also, I once tried to sacrifice Phoenix at the Moria tree sanctuary. <laughs> Long story, don't ask. But Phoenix will get the joke. Check over by those olive trees. Then make an offering at an altar. I'll see you on the other side. If you two don't screw this up. <laughs> Alright, let's make another offering. Gods, please watch over me. Do I have to make offerings to fast travel too? I do not like that. Mm. 
but I mean story wise it w it would make sense as Phoenix was like half god so probably that's why it didn't cost me much in the main game but because this my character is a full mortal I'm assuming they don't it takes a lot to to do that Hmm. Or maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? A double jump is not going to I do hope I gain the ability to double jump. See if we can't find another olive tree. The chest. I can't even do this yet, can I?
There it is. Olives. Okay. Now to offer them to a god I hear in my head. Because an owl that is also a god told me to. On a magic island. This is fine. This is normal. Oh, okay, so she cannot swim. Good to know. Let's go to the other one. Olympian and my new boss. Uh, I humbly offer you these olives, I guess. Ah, you did it! You restored our connection! Phoenix, you're back! Yes, Athena said you can't do miracles without an offering, so... Uh, Hope you like the olives. Athena and her olives. She's not going to let me live this one down. Better go see what she has to say, champion. I'm gonna hate that Ubisoft Connect message every time. Every single time. Okay. So these are different. We'll be offering stuff. We have the forge, so I don't have enough. But also fast travel. So it's a resource management the game at this point. Which is whatever. But still. 